Currency, the first Forex trading social network, presents a clip from recent webinar with Forex expert and Thomson Reuters senior analyst John Foreman. The webinar is titled Thomson Reuters IFR Markets and Currency and was recorded live on October 27, 2009. To learn more about Currency and this webinar, visit us at www.currency.com slash webinars. Remember, Forex trading involves significant risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. You should make sure you understand the risks involved before trading. Performance, strategies, and charts shown are not necessarily predictive of any particular results. And of course, past performance is no indication of future results. Currency is a member of the National Futures Association. Enjoy the webinar. Uh, we've got three different widgets that the currency is making available to you. One uh, is the one in the middle here, which we call the order board. It's probably the simplest thing to understand. And it's basically our analysts around the world listening to what their contacts are saying and, and hearing what's going on in the markets and reporting on where they see big orders accumulating. Any, anything that can you know, influence the, the real short-term immediate market action. Like you see the, first, the top one there, sell stops reported reside below 148.40 for euro dollar. Um, that's something that you, know, you might be able to use in your own trading if you're, you're trading short-term, looking to see maybe where you want to place your stop or what the market might do if it hits a certain level. I know in this case that you know, if you look at a chart of uh, euro dollar for today, you'll see that when 148.40 broke a while back, the market raced because the stops got triggered, you had more money you know, pouring in on the short side. Um, it really took the market down, uh, but it also bounced relatively quickly back when all those orders got taken care of, which is what happens a lot of times when you know, stops especially get triggered or even you know, long entry, you know, position entry type orders get triggered. Uh, it, it, there's, a, there's an immediate reaction the market goes through and then comes back, and, and it, it creates one of those situations that you know all traders hate, where the market runs through their stop and then turns right back around <laughs> and starts going the other way again. Really annoying, but the intention here with our order board is to kind of give you a heads up on where those orders might be, so you can kind of either use them to your advantage or avoid those levels for your own stops. The, uh, the second one I'll talk about is what you see over here, the Thomson Reuters are for our trading desk. This is the collection of what we call our trading pages. Um, and, and this widget right here lists all of them with our current position, uh, where we entered, what our stop is, and what our, our target level is. And if we're not in a position, you see over to the right where we plan on executing you know, to get into a trade. Uh, now you drill down here, we'll save a dollar in, and it'll bring up the actual detail for that trading page. So each of these includes several what we call you know, the, the, the key near-term resistance levels, so the ones that are most immediately important to us right now, and also the same number of uh, support levels below. Uh, so you get the, the level here, like 9330. The M here stands for medium. We, we generally rate the levels strong, medium, and weak to give you an idea of what we think about the importance of that level. Uh, and then over to the right, we'll have recommendations based on you know what our strategy is, um, which is detailed down below in the commentary section, which is a, usually a couple lines long. Um, and it, you know that commentary will kind of will be the analyst's view on what's going on in the market, what the potential is, how to, how we're looking at lining up a trade, um, and that sort of thing. To kind of the ex explanation of the action that you know we anticipate taking. And over to the right, you've got you know, the position summary reflection, which is basically what you see on that trading desk widget. Okay. So, John, these are yes. – just ask a quick question on this, because so, I, I actually just uh, purchased this trading widget in the marketplace, and, and a question that I had was, so are these actual trades that, uh, that the Thomson Reuters IFR Markets trading desk is taking right now or, or you know, sees as a great opportunity to take? These, uh, we don't actually trade. We're not allowed to do that. Once upon a time, technical data before it got purchased by uh, Thompson Financial actually did trade. Um, but when Thompson Financial bought them, they said, no, no, no. We don't want the risk associated with you guys running positions like that. So, you know, we just want your analysis. We want your ideas. 
So that's I what see. we do. We do keep tabs on our performance on the server side, you know, that tracks where we get long, where we get short, et cetera. Um, but that's, you know, mostly for internal reference. You know, we can kind of give an idea, but for compliance reasons, we're not, a, we're not allowed to post that information in a public area. You know, we're, we're a registered advisor with the SEC, so we've got a lot of little hoops that we've got to go to and make sure we're not doing anything that could confuse people or lead people in the wrong direction, you know, that sort of regulatory sure. stuff. Sure. So these, so, so traders could look at this, these as trade recommendations then? Yeah, they're intended to be ideas. You know, what, mm -hmm. what we see as good trading ideas, good trading opportunities. Right. You know, nobody should ever take things completely at, you know, at face value and just, you know, go off and do whatever somebody else says. But this, you know, gives you something to look at, gives, us, gives you an idea where we see the important levels are uh, the technical considerations that we look at and, you know, let you make your own judgment. See if you, if you agree with us, then great. If not, you know, maybe you decide to go against us. That's, but that's, that's the idea. It's a, it ends up being a decision support tool. That's great. Thanks. Sure. Okay. So that's the trading pages and the, and the trading desk. And uh, the last widget is probably the most uh, deep and involved. That's the IFR squawk box. And this is basically what we call our rolling commentary. Um, a lot of our flow sort of comments and our commentary and our analysis of news, uh, that sort of thing, and even some technical you know, sort of comments that are mixed in with the fundamentals, that goes through the squawk box. Um, you know, it's headlines. You know, we'll take this one right here. This was actually, um, Chris Moore here is actually one of our technicians who you know, in this case, he's written about what he sees going on with the dollar index. Um, uh, it, you know, breaking through a big trend line, uh, that sort of thing. We also have um, a story about the, the Japanese, the DOJ, excuse me, yeah, the subpoena of Japan. Um, this brings into things like um, uh, major corporate news events that could relate to what's going on in, in the foreign exchange market. Um, you can't ignore, like I said before, the different markets. They all play into this. You know what the big multinational corporations are doing with their money is going to play out in what's happening in the foreign exchange market, just the same way as what's happening with the big hedge funds or the big, you know, money center banks um, and that sort of thing. You know, here's another story that the, the head of our group here in the U.S. wrote. Uh, this is one of the longer pieces. Usually we, we keep them a couple of paragraphs, but he obviously felt he had you know, enough to say here talking about what's going on with Treasury issuance because this week is, is big on the, uh, on the calendar in terms of um, Treasury issuing a lot of new debt. Um, like, like I was mentioned before, we just you know, had one auction go off today. We'll have another one tomorrow and then a third one on Thursday. And all this plays out in what's happening in the bond market, which, of course, then plays into potentially what's going on with, you know, the dollar and, you know, it's just one more thing that we get to see that plays into our analysis. He also integrates what happens in the Eurozone with uh, money supply and, and it, basically whatever we see that comes into play as far as being important to the markets, it ends up in the squawk box one way or another. You know, the trading pages are purely technical. The, the order board is strictly where the key orders are. Um, so you kind of know what's going on with the banks and, and the funds and, you know, the big players and what they're trying to do, including, as you can see from the, uh, the third comment here, options dealers and what they see in terms of expirations and big strike points. Um, it all kind of filters into the squawk box one way or another uh, in terms of, you know, kind of aggregating and all developing kind of the bigger picture view of things and also the intermediate view of things. So that, that provides a pretty good overview and I think at this point I'm you know I'm open to taking any questions clarify whatever um, so I'll, uh, I'll let Michelle take it back